Hey coach, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. If you're brand new here, make sure and hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated with all the newest videos we have coming out on this channel. Now in today's video, we wanna talk about how you can add more value and you're providing more value for the clients that you are currently training. And here's how we wanna do this. This is gonna require a pen and a piece of paper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write down what you're currently doing, all right? This is what I know most coaches do. They'll show up to the session, they'll do a private training session for an hour or an hour and a half, sometimes coaches do it for two hours. And after that session's done, the kids will leave, they'll go home, they'll get in their car, they're gonna drive home uh, with their parents, and you're gonna do the next session, and then you won't see them until a week later. And I know this is what coaches do because whenever I talk to coaches over the phone about their business, 99.9% .9 of coaches do this. And what's happening is you're turning your business into a factory. And what I'm talking about is someone comes to train with you, uh, you know, a kid's gonna train with you on Thursday at four o'clock in the afternoon. And you train them from four to five. And then you see them next week from four to five. But in between those sessions, there's nothing that's happening for that client. You're not talking to them, they're not doing anything on their own. All they know is they're gonna see you every Thursday, four o'clock, and you just have a regimented schedule. That, to me, is not good enough. And if you are currently doing that, what we wanna do is take a pen, piece of paper, and we wanna start writing out how can you create more value for your clients. This way they get better results. You should be building your business as a results-based company. It's not just training, right? You are here to provide results for your clients. And when you add more value to your program, your clients will get better results. And when you add more value to your program, guess what? You can charge two or three times more than you currently are charging, but it's gonna take some time to write out, well, what are some things I can do? And I'm just gonna give you a couple of examples. These are things that I talk about in our mastermind program. And if you'd like to know more, click up here. You can go to an information page to learn more about the mastermind program. Now here's, I'm gonna give you three examples. So example number one is you can create game evaluations. And what this is, is you can create a form online and you send the form to the players that you're training. And what they do is every week, they will fill out the form. You can have this all automated, like set up online. They fill out the form, the form will automatically get sent to you. And what it's, what's happening is these kids that you're training, they fill out this form that shows you as the coach exactly how they are playing. And this way every week, the clients that you train are held accountable, so they have to fill out this form. And that's gonna help you as a coach because now you have more information about how to better train them and what are the things they really need help with versus just training them every week and you assume that you know what's best for them. Most coaches do that. As coaches, we all have egos and we think we know everything, but we have to put that to the side. We are here for our clients. And what we need is we need that data from our clients. How are they actually playing their games? All right, that's one example. Another example is providing homework. And I'm not talking about giving kids six hours of homework to do every day. I'm talking about simple, easy tasks that they can do that are specific to them personally, right? And when I say that, I'm not saying you give every kid the same homework every week. We wanna personalize everything. Parents are investing into your program because they want personalized help. They're not investing in your program to get just generic help. They can do that on whatever club team or whatever team they're on right now. That's what they're currently getting. So we need your service to be over and beyond anything that they're ever gonna get with whatever team they're on, right? And if that's the case, then what we need to do is figure out, well, what does this kid really need help with? What can I have them do on their own when they're not training with me so we can accelerate their results? I could think of a million different homework ideas that I've given kids, right? But what you need to do is think about the sport that you coach, think about the clients that you are training, and think on a deeper level, well, what does this individual player that I'm training, well, what do they need help with? What is one thing I can help them with with their confidence this week? with their ball control, uh, with their attitude, with their goal setting. I mean, I could go down the line of a million ideas, 
But that alone, what it does is it gets the players more accountable. Another thing that I do is I always want to be communicating with the players that I train. This way, again, we're not just meeting at four o'clock on Friday and then I see them again next week at four o'clock and there's no relationship built there. All it is, is I'm just coaching them and that's it. I don't wanna do that. I wanna be different. I wanna build a better relationship with the players that I train. So what I do is I use an app that allows me to streamline all my communication with all the clients that I train, not just with the kids, but the parents as well. But this way I can keep the kids accountable. They're reporting back to me every single day. They're saying, hey, I did this. Hey, I did this. This is how I played in my game. And this way, my program turns into a seven day a week program, not just one day. And what I'm doing is I'm building and I'm creating more value for my clients. That allows me to charge way more money than the average coach. And I looked this up the other day. The average coach here in America is gonna charge somewhere between like 30 to $50 per session. If you follow this channel, you know that we don't do any of that per session bull crap, right? It should not be that anymore. You should be charging monthly, but you need to be raising your standards. You need to be raising the value of your program so you can be the coach who charges premium fees, right? And you can charge premium fees when you generate better results with your clients. I know I went really deep into this video. If you wanna learn more about how to charge more for your program, how to generate even more value, all right, than what I just talked about, I want you to click up there. That will take you to a page. If you are a serious coach, that is gonna be a great page to look at. There's a lot of information there, and I'm gonna invite you to our mastermind program when you click on that button. So I'll see you soon. If you have any questions, comment below.